in a thrilling discovery that has left historians and geologists baffled, an arrowhead housed at the Byrne History Museum has been found to be made from meteoritic iron. Yes, you heard that right, folks, alien metal. Journey with me as we delve into this captivating tale of ancient artifacts and extraterrestrial origins. Throughout the annals of history, meteoritic iron has been used by early civilizations across the globe, from the vast lands of Eurasia to the scorching deserts of the Middle East and the mysterious depths of Africa. Yet, in the heart of Europe, the use of this otherworldly metal has been a rarity, hidden in the shadows of time. Until now. Behold, the Morgen Arrowhead, a marvel of craftsmanship and enigma, with its distinctive layered texture. This arrowhead, with a total length of 39.3 mm, has piqued the interest of an international team of geologists and historians. But what secrets does it hold? Cutting-edge analysis has revealed a fascinating revelation, the Morgen Arrowhead contains aluminum-26 isotopes, a telltale sign that this metallic wonder hails from beyond our terrestrial realm. But that's not all, for the presence of a unique iron and nickel alloy, exclusive to meteorites, has left scientists stunned. Armed with the knowledge that meteoritic iron was a prized material for early peoples, our intrepid researchers set out on a daring quest to uncover more artifacts of this celestial origin. The search led them to the archaeological collections of Switzerland, where hidden gems awaited their discovery. As if straight out of a thrilling adventure novel, the team unearthed remnants of an adhesive on the arrowhead, a mysterious tar pitch that hinted at its past, once attached to a shaft of unknown purpose. The intrigue deepens. Just when the pieces of the puzzle seemed to fit together, an unexpected twist emerged. The location where the arrowhead was found lies tantalizingly close to the impact site of the Twanberg meteorite. But hold your breath, for not all is what it seems. The concentrations of germanium and nickel did not match those found in the Twanberg meteorite, shrouding this celestial object in even more mystery. Determined to unveil the truth, our relentless team of researchers cast their net wider, exploring geological databases far and wide. And then, ladies and gentlemen, a revelation emerged from the depths of the earth, a mere three meteorites, each possessing the unique combination of metals, had been found in all of Europe. One in the Czech Republic, another in Spain, and the final piece of the puzzle lay in the mystical land of Estonia. With bated breath, they pieced together the final fragments of this cosmic tale. The arrowhead, a beacon of interstellar trade during the Bronze Age, had traveled across vast distances, a testament to the extensive trade network that thrived in Central Europe. So, my fellow travelers in the realms of history, the Bern History Museum houses not just an arrowhead, but a celestial messenger, a reminder of the ancient ties that connected our ancestors to the stars above.